So watu wa Kenya wakakuja after around 5 minutes hivi. But they could not offer any help because they just came they told me unapiga nduri I mean no. Yeah unapigia mbona una, unapigia nani I remember the somebody who told me unapigia nani kelele hapa. Yeah. Peleka kelele zako huko. So ananiambia mimi unaona. Yeah. Hai ni kuona mazao say so like naona pale police na shindu police ako na bunduki hapa like ako tuna any like anything that you mazena jaribu gari azikuji sa hiyo like gari zao zinatoka huko zina like zinapata accident bado like kuna gari nyingine ilitoka huko subaru ikiingia kwa accident like ikapata accident gari nyingine ikatoka bado zinagongana tu hapo so what we did we uh, this the somebody the somebody called maina kem alikuwa amekuja ku rescue the guy man alikuwa na hiyo fielder mwenye yeah mwenye alikuwa na hiyo fielder so akona eh hey, this guy is much pain that is the only person yeah when alikuja akanisaidia so akakuja tukabeba milka tukamtoka kwa barabara na talisha tukaweka katikati zile flower bed kuna hiyo barabara ni hiyo kitu katikati penye mawazi mepandwa hapo so like hapo ndo tuleka milka na talisha so we just like i don't know ai mazata sikumbuka ngi vitu zingine i've used to rather stay kwambia mtu yote like it's really hard like nikaanza kufikiria story ya barabara yani we in heart kabisa so that's what we did tukampeleka watu wa Kenya hasa hiyo same same guy as in the watu wa Kenya wamekuja kwa hiyo gari kuna polisi new police it happened to be my friend somebody like a friend of mine i, I won't mention the name but then the guy came anatoa mask ananiambia unajua huyu ni nani so I was like crying like naambia mazisi munisaidie so anatoa mask na anateremsha mask chini eh naona huyu ni eh huyu ni msebe shita yangu unaona ah nikasema hapa nimepata usaidizi like at least i feel safe unaona mother the guy comes this nothing he helps na muomba simu anakata kunipatia ananiambia sijua ananipatia excuse hapo then they vanish watu wakini hawanaenda initially kin how when anything happens on the road thika road hata mta issue mafuta ama nini happen wanakuja waneka gari yao nyuma na hizo lights kina wanakuja na gari waneka service lane wanakuja kunigombanisha na wanaenda that's what really happened on the road yeah then after that milka melala hapo sasa yeye anatafuta simu ya kupigia mtu nyumbani so maina gave me the phone that is after 30 minutes hivi tumeka kwa barabara imagine like a half an hour natafuta tu simu all along watu wanapita tu wakipiga mapicha wakienda unaona yeah so i called the only number i knew on my head ina kwanga ya milka na brother yangu ridon so napigia ridon simu namwambia eh hey, bro kitu unaweza tu fanya kujeni mochari like KU mnaweza tupata huko nimepata accident na milka amefanya nini amekufa that's what i just told my brother Hey, mother say you na piga nduru. Hey, hey. I will never wish somebody to pass through like that experience. Like you know, mimi have never undergone any kind of loss. Like I've never had a heartbreak. I've never had like yani sijaipoteza mtu wa maana kwa maisha yangu, unaelewa? And we are just like yani vitu zilikuwa zimeanza kuwa so like yani nilikuwa nasikia kuchiza like even I tried to kill myself kwa barabara, unaona? But then it didn't happen. Unaona? My daughter ka, kuna good Samaritan alikuja akamchukua akaeka kwa cab ili kwa vitu fulani hata simjui until now simjui ni nani so akampeleka wendani lifeline telisha kufika huko mimi sijui mtoto ameendaje na tena sijui kama ata survive because vile alitoka pale watu watu ambulance walikuja wakasema huyu hizi saidika i don't know why they said that you know and the ambulance left so telisha already ameenda lifeline This a friend of mine Manu akachukua sijui kabenda walipeleka talisha then kufika lifeline Collins this a friend of my brother anataka home court akakuja akashughulika talisha kafikisha wapi Kinyata hospital that is past midnight ndio talisha anafikisha wapi mimi nimebaki na milka kwa barabara so ya kuna mtu niko tuna maina some police officers aitwa Karemi hapo ka askari so after that yeah milka milka tukambeba milka alibebo kwa gari ya polisi tukamweka huko nyuma tu ada sikutaka kuona by the way vitu zikabebwa tukaeka tuko nyuma gari wakavuruta akapeleka kwa police station ya yeah. si tukaenda kwa mochari like imagine wanaulizio unataka apelekwe wapi 
tukasema tu KU that is where I mean mesoma like imagine protocols zote za um, the anatomy pathology mnaenda kwa mogu huko sasa huko ndio mnaenda tena wapeleka wife huko hey nafika kwa macha naona madhi mimi nijue tu uko naona so anytime i try kutoka madhi wase wako tu na mimi pale unaona u police hizi kuacha so duko pale wananiuliza details za milka like yeah but this was called milka mumbi she was 22 years old yeah so i had the id so mimi nilikuwa sikia tu tukipita kwa bump I na sikia huyu officer mazame ni bo like how ana na bibaje milka hivi unaona like napelekaje milka kwa mochari like huyu milka anaenda mochari aje like kwa kile yangu iko like ai sasa nitafanya nini na maisha like so to admit milka hapo tukamaliza all those stories then i was taken to singe rudi kwangu because we never reached home until now mimi nilifika kwa nyumba time tunafanya arrangement za funeral ya milka so then nikapele kwa the next day because my body ai nilikuwa nasikia pain in every part of my body like the ribs huko vidole kichwa so the next day nikapele kwa mama lucy tulienda kenech ben then kapata kenech kumeja nikaenda wapi mama lucy so we did all scans nikapatikana mwili wangu iko tu sawa then ni ni yule uchungu tu ya ndani internal so I was given some medication we did that then i didn't go to sit alicia the same same day as in sunday nilienda monday because sunday sige kwa na ile kareja kwenda kumuona so monday nikaenda na brother yangu huko nilienda brother yangu my sister came the next day my sister my mom so who broke the news to my family is my brother brother yangu atalishindwa tambiaje because my dad the previous day alikuwa na pressure ndio ile mtungemwambia kitana zima 